Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So throughout the years, I've had a lot of art projects that I just either don't complete or I give up on halfway through and they just sit there lying in a corner, sad and alone. So today I wanted to start a series where I fix up artwork and projects that I have ruined or just haven't completed. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. This, this, this is it. You're probably wondering like, what was I thinking? And I can honestly say I have no idea what my former self was thinking here. This random glowing orb to the waves, the clouds, everything about it just utterly confuses me. Anyway, it's planning time. Roll! <laughs> so let's gussy it up and begin with this thing I saw a TikTok of. You rub some paint on a cloth to make it look like it's either misty or glowing, and I, I think I kinda, you know, I was really into it, and it seemed to be working pretty well, and I, I think I went overboard here. Oh, freak. I was excited, okay? Something I saw on TikTok of was actually working for the first time ever. Next thing next, these clouds are a hot mess, but let's ignore that. I learned recently that a drier brush yields the best results in terms of fluff and texture, but it, it for some reason it just feels wrong. It feels like I'm destroying the brush. Anyway, I scrubbed these babies on and decided to tape it down since it kept sliding away from me. Also, can someone please explain how to use this little stand in the back? I have tried so hard to figure it out and I just cannot. I wanted a sort of misty look towards the glowing orb whatever portion, so I met the waves with clouds and then worked on the rest in the upper part. They weren't quite the texture I was going for, but sometimes you just have to know when to call it quits. You just have to know when something's good enough. I was gonna try something new and use this, I don't know, what is it called? A paint mixer? A paint... scraper... thing? Anyway, I was gonna try and use this because I've seen other art videos of people doing this, but it just... It didn't... Then I tried to fan them out with a fan brush, that, but, but let's be honest, that was also pretty terrible looking. So instead, I decided to go with harsh waves because, um, that's basically the only thing I know how to do. To do this, this is just this is just my method. I kind of plot them out first by using a color I can clearly see, like this light gray, and I kind of plan where I want them to be and how I want them to look. Then I begin to fill the rest of the wave in like this, and I try to blend out the harsher lines as I go. I don't really know what I'm doing, um, in case you can't tell, I'm new to this. So I added more black and gray and white tones throughout the waves, and while that was drying, I decided to focus on the glowing orb. I added a moon, which I'm really bad at, so it was kind of stressful. Uh, I feel like it did okay though, like it's, it's circular, I tried to blend it out so that it wasn't like, it was like a soft glowing moon, but that, um, didn't work. While that was drying, I decided to add some like sea foam, sea spray, foam spray. This just kind of adds a sort of roughness and texture that I really love. This one is a really high wave. With it, you know, and uh, looking back, it kind of bothers me, but it's too late to fix it. It's kind of a moody piece, honestly. I added foam or spray, whatever the hell you call this. The rest of my waves it created some new ones, and I was really liking the way it was looking by this point. It was really starting to come together. And I, I would say it was definitely an improvement from where we started. I tried to stay true to my earlier self's colors, which made this more abstract in the end, I feel like. It was like a mix of abstract and realism. I, is there a name for that? Okay, so back to the moon. I really tried to add texture to it with this brush, but it was just, it started to get really blobby, which makes it look gross. 
Then I scrub the clouds with a darker gray for more subtle undertones. It kind of just looks like I'm rubbing a wet brush around, but I assure you it, it was actually, it had paint on it. So for texture, I use a Q-tip. This has been a lifesaver time and time again for me, but it's kind of life hacky, so I tend to not do it, and it feels like I'm cheating somehow. It added the exact texture I needed, but I went a little wild again and made it too blobby, so then I had to go in and fix the shape. And this was the best I could do, it's still a little uneven. I'm having a hard time. So I went in with my Q-tip again to add texture to the new part of the moon I added, and I was ready to call this done. So, real quick, here's the before. And here is the after, and I, I feel like I did a pretty good job. Better than whatever past Jessica was thinking, which I honestly don't understand. What is that? Looking at this, I see a lot of imperfections and things I could fix, but I was overall pretty satisfied with it, and I'm glad I was able to kind of take my original vision and turn it into this. And that concludes our video. Thank you all so much for watching, um, if you made it this far, and hopefully I'll see you next week.